Rob, back to back 2 0 home wins. How are you feeling after that one? Very good. Yeah, as you should feel after a, after a good win like that against a you know a, a good team, a local team. Uh, supporters were were fantastic, and I think they've enjoyed their day. So all round, yeah, it was a really a really good day for us. A local derby always adds something to that 90 minutes as well, doesn't it? It does, you know, the, the, the atmosphere was great, that's what you want. Um, we knew it would be different, a different feel to Tuesday and I think the lads really responded well to that, you know, and I thought the performance levels were, were excellent. I thought the first couple of minutes they had an early corner were, you know, because they, they had the, the wind and everything like that, I thought we were, um, you know, we, thought we were still working it out and seeing how it was going to go and then after that I thought we really got a foothold in the game, the first half I thought we were terrific. And, and potentially could have had more than the one goal. You know, we hit the crossbar. We had a, a chance, I think, from Matty, a really good save from the keeper from a, a cross from from Cads, I think. So, um, lots of good moments. And then to go down to ten men fairly early in that second half, or at least in the midpoint in that second half, um, we thought, right, come on, this is going to be a real challenge now. But what the players did really well, what the lads did really well, was they remained aggressive and remained a threat. You know, an attacking threat as well. When we were down to ten men, uh, we could have had one or two others. You know, Jack had that really good chance, another good save from the, from the keeper, and then to get the penalty and Jammer that's have to wait for quite a long time um, while they had a player down getting treatment. Um, you know, mentally really, you know, top from Jammer that was, and he finished it off really well. And then I think after that we saw the game out relatively comfortably, limited them to shots from outside the box. Um, yeah, really good day all round. And it felt like you really managed going down. To ten men, pretty much perfectly. It didn't feel like the game changed all that much in the final, I suppose, half hour. I think we we obviously couldn't have as much possession as we would have wanted, and we didn't have as much territory as we wanted. You know, the majority of the game then would have been in our half, which is not ever what we want. But we accepted that as long as we were still aggressive in our press and we were still um, we weren't being passive. As long as we weren't allowing them to you know to to start getting in our box easily and. And picking their way through and, and getting really good chances. They weren't getting that. We were blocking things. We were aggressive still, and like I said, we remained a threat. So uh, that's credit to the lads. Yeah. And aggressive in defence once again. Last three games, only one goal conceded, and it wasn't from open play. So in that regard, things are things are looking <coughs> good as well. Yeah, the, we know we know the lads, and this is a unit. I say this all the time now. From the, 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 the keepers and our, our keepers and defenders love clean sheets, and, and that's great, and that's what they've got to do. Um, but it's a whole team, it's a whole unit and, and everyone to the, today, Matty and Jammer up front, the midfield were brilliant, the, the back line and then in goal as well, Luke were, were terrific and, and thoroughly deserved that clean sheet as well. And it was a brace for Matty Stevens on Tuesday night, a brace for Jamil Matt on, on the Saturday. As, yeah. as things go for, for a pair of strikers, it doesn't get that much better, does it? I don't think it does. Um, when I've just said to Jammer when I give him a big hug in the changing room after I said it's, it's not just his goals and Matt is the same by the way it's not just the goals that they give us and they're getting the rewards for that which is brilliant and, and that's what the, all strikers want and, but the work rate and the stuff that they do from the team the stuff that, that people don't necessarily see that doesn't go unnoticed with, with, with me and the staff and the other lads the, the work rate they put in the, the ugly things that they have to do is unbelievable and they're getting their awards with the goals, which is great because you need goal scorers. Um, but they work so hard for the team and that's what we need. And that's what we need everyone to do. That every one of the lads today, and they've done it consistently throughout the season, they work so hard for each other. We talk about that all the time. And it was a, it was a large crowd here at the Fully Charged New Lawn, close to capacity. You've already touched on how good the Forest Green fans were. But in pre-match, there was a lot of talk about quieting down the, the travelling Rovers fans. And I felt like you just did that perfectly in the first half and really got them on the back foot. Yeah, we didn't talk about that because we were at home today, so that wasn't something that we'd spoken about. You know, the performance did that anyway. It got our fans going and, and, and that was it. I didn't really think too much about Bristol Rovers fans. You know, it was great that they supported the club like they did and, and they brought their numbers away from home, which they do um, consistently. But yeah, we, you know, our, our, our supporters were t tremendous today and that was because of the performance level of the lads as well. So we all bounced off each other.